Progress check 5.1 for GCSE Maths Statistics. Question number one. The pictogram shows the number of DVDs borrowed from a shop on Monday and Tuesday. How many DVDs were borrowed on Tuesday? So we're looking at Tuesday. We have the key here, which shows that this shape represents 10 DVDs. So this is going to be 10, 20, this is half, so it's going to be 5, so 25 in total. In question number 2 we have the line chart shows the number of goals scored by a football team in the last 16 games. How many goals did they score all together? So there are 16 games in total. We have the number of goals scored, so 0 goals were scored twice. So we have first match 0, it could be the first match or maybe the second, third, but I'm just going to put them in order like this. So we have another match with 0 goals and then we have 5 matches with just 1 goal, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we have four matches with two goals, so we have three matches with three goals and two matches with four goals. So the number of goals that they scored all together would be worked out by adding all of these numbers. So we have five lots of one, which is five, and four lots of two, which is eight, three lots of three, which is nine, and two lots of four, which is eight. So we'll add these up. 8 and 8 is 16, 9 and 5 is 14, so that makes 30. So there were 30 goals altogether. What was the median number of goals scored? So the way I've laid it out in here with all the number of goals in order it's going to be easy for me to work this out, so I'm going to cross out both sides. So we have 2 and a 2, which is 4, half of 4 is 2, so that gives us an answer of 2. So the median number of goals is 2. Question number 3, Billy has been carrying out a survey. He asked 100 people the, the type of water they like to drink, still sparkling or both. Here are part of the results. So we have still sparkling both and then we have male, female in total. How many females drink only still water? So we're looking at Still, so it's this number here that we want to find out. So what are we going to do to figure out what this is? Because we don't know this number here, we can't work out this one. So we'll do this first. We've got 53. What do we need to add to 53 to give us 100? And that is 47. So we have... 47 females in total. We've taken out 20 and the 10. So 47 take away 30 leaves us with 17. So the number of females who drink still water only is 17. Question number four. This pie chart shows information about how the learners in a class travel to college. 
what percentage of the whole class walks to college? So we have walk, which is half. So that is this one here. As we can see, it's half of the circle. So that is 50%. There are 28 learners in class, so in total that is 28 learners. How many of them travel by bus or car? So bus or car, both together. This is 25% because this is a right angle, so it's a quarter and then we have, we have the half already. So this is 50%, this is 25%, so these two combined, bus and car, will be 25%, so a quarter. So in other words, we're looking at finding a quarter of 28, which is 7. Question number 5. Henry reads 8 books. For each book he recorded the number of pages and the time he took to read it. The scatter graph shows information about his results. Henry reads another book. The book has 150 pages. So what we need to find is how long it takes Henry to read it. So estimating the time it takes Henry to read it. Now, because this is a scatter graph and we want to estimate an answer, we're going to have to draw a line of best fit. So you'd use a ruler for that to draw a straight line that goes through the points trying to keep an equal distance between the points. So I'm going to try and do that now. So this is about here. There is no exact answer to this. We only estimating. So we're talking about 150 pages, so that's the number of pages, 150 is here, so I'm going to go up and see where this meets the line. And then draw a horizontal line to see where that goes. So this is about 7 hours, so in between six and eight we've got seven hours question number six the number of pens in each pupil's pencil case in a classroom has been counted the results are displayed in a table so we have number of pens and number of pupils so we need to work out the mean number of pens as we know, the mean is worked out by adding them all up and then dividing by how many there are. So, in terms of the number of pens, we have four pupils who have zero pens each. So for those, there's going to be zero pens. We have six pupils with one pen each, so it's going to be six pens in total for them. Then we have seven pupils that have two pens each, so that is 14 pens. And we have five pupils with three pens each, so that is 15. And we have three pupils that have four pens each, so that is 12. And one pupil has five pens, so that is five. So to work out the number of pens in total, we have 6 and 4, 10, 15, 20, 22. So 2 down and 2 carried over, so 2, 3, 4, 5. So there are 52 pens in total. Now that is the number of pens, but we've got to divide it by the number of pupils so that we can work out on average how many pens per pupil. So now we need to look at the number of pupils. We have 6 and 4 which is 10. 
we have 7 and 3 which is 10 again and 5 and 1 which is 6 so 10 and 10 20 and 6 is 26 so 52 divided by 26 these are nice and easy numbers to work with so this tells us that there are two pens per pupil that is on average now we'll need to work out the median number of pens in a pencil case so we could do this by just listing the number of pens so we do 0 0 0 0 because four of the pupils have zero pens each and then we do six lots of one so we could do this but it's going to take a bit of time so instead I'll look at another way using the table as you can see we have this list of numbers that go 0, 6, 14 so representing the number of pens now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on the next number to the previous one so I'll start with 0 and we're going to add then 6 to it then add 14 so that makes it 20 and to the 20 I'm going to add the 15 so that makes it 35 add 12 so that makes it 47 and then we come to 52 cumulative so what we're going to do now is we're going to go halfway through this we know there are 52 pencils pens in total so halfway through it's going to be between 26 and 27 so there is 20 here but we're looking for more 26 so it's going to be within this so both 26 and 27 go within this 35 and here because they are lower than 35 but higher than 20 so we're looking at this row so the number of pens the median number of pens is 3 now we've got to work out the modal number of pens in a pencil case so we're looking at the most common number of pens so that is the more pupils have had that number that's what we are looking to put in here so looking at the number of pupils the highest is seven so the modal number of pens is two because seven pupils had two pens each now we've got to work out the range of the number of pens in a pencil case so what's the highest number of pens that the pupils could have that was five and the lowest is zero so five take away zero equals five and that is the range in question number seven we have Ayla recorded the time in minutes that her bus was late over 50 days information about these times is shown in the table so we have time in minutes and frequency which means how many times the bus was late between 0 and 6 minutes between 6 and 12 12 and 18 18 and 24 and 24 and 30 so we've got to estimate the mean time in minutes of a bus being late now the reason why we estimate is because we cannot be sure how many minutes exactly since we're saying a range of values between 0 and 6 so for this reason we're going to find the mid value what is that number that is right halfway between 0 and 6 and multiplied by the frequency so between 0 and 6 there is 3 between 6 and 12 9 between 12 and 18 is 15 between 18 and 24 is 21 between 24 and 30 is 27 so what we're going to do now is multiply these across so we have 
42, 45, 300, and then 21 times 6, and 27 times 5. So we'll add all of these together. And this is 648 minutes in total, which we'll need to divide by the frequency. So we have 14 and 6, which makes 20. We have 5 and 5 which makes 10, so 20 and 20 is 40 and 10 is 50. So that's how many times? 50 times. So we'll go 648 divided by 50. Which gives us 12.96 minutes. The stem and leaf diagram below shows information about the times in minutes it takes a group of people to eat their breakfast. So we have this question, how many people are there in the group? So we've got the 0, 1, 2 and 3 which is the first digit of the number. So this is 0, 5 which means just 5 minutes. And this is zero 07, so 7 minutes, zero 099 minutes. This is 10, and then 10, 15, 18, 18, 20, 22, 23, 25, 27, 32, and 35. So the actual values can be counted here. So 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15. So 15 values, 15 people in the group. Below were represented the sales figures for a manufacturing company over the course of three years. What is the range of sales figures? So we're looking at the range, what is the highest and what is the lowest. The lowest value is here, so 10 million, and this is the highest, 25. So 25, take away 10, it's going to be 15 million.